Good morning, everyone. Thanks for joining us for North Dakota Today on this, I wish I could say sunshiny, beautiful Wednesday. But it is Not soggy. Today. Did you have the windshield wipers on today? I didn't have them coming in, but boy, last night I thought our house was going to blow away, didn't you? It was windy. It's, when I came in, it was raining super hard, too. Oh, like I'd have the, yep, the windshield wipers going and the, there were big puddles in the streets. Good news is, though, I should have taken pictures. We could be on, you know, dead spot watch in the Bedeau backyard. We planted some seed because I was like, I knew uh -huh. I was listening to Lisa Green. I knew we were going to get some good rain. So JB was out there, you know, planting just some grass seed that we had in the in the garage. So we'll That's see if awesome. it even grows. Um, but yeah, I thought we could take a peek outside if we have the sky cam ready. It looks super green, but super cloudy. And I think we're getting more rain to the north right now. But Lisa said, Keep the umbrella handy. Keep the rain poncho handy. All, oh, there's a raindrop even on our sky cam right now. It's just going to be one of those days where it's just kind of a wash all day long. It's got to turn around at some point where we get some sunshine and some heat, doesn't it? Yeah, this weekend looks really nice. Saturday looks nice. It has to improve. I got my tickets for the uh, matinee Red Hawks game for tomorrow. Ooh, yeah. I'm hoping that I don't have to have my umbrella tomorrow, but... But if you do... But if I do, <laughs> here we go. I had to, to search around. These are, you know, coveted, uh, you Those know, awesome. umbrellas. Hard to come by around here. Um, but this is something that people can win, too. They, you just have to get... It's bad luck, right, to open this in the house? I, I would say go for it because it's just... It's such a... It sounds crazy, but it's such a great umbrella that I would definitely open that bad boy up, That's show it off a little bit. Is. And then maybe you can pretend like you're singing, singing in the rain. But, singing um, in the rain. I was going to say, there's like papers and everything all up in this. This is like you, seriously <laughs> brand new. Okay. Here we go. Uh, so a, you want to register to this win. This is family size. Aren't they great? Look like at this. Everything about Hopefully I'm not going to so poke you in the nice. eye here as I am uh, running through this. But this is the first time. Uh, get ready for summer, summer storms like this or a lot of sunshine. We are giving away, away these Shed Rain umbrellas. Weekdays during North Dakota today, June 3rd through the 28th. The deadline to register is 10 a.m. June 27th. So easy to remember. You just go to valleynewslive.com and click on that contest tab. And, and you, you are ready for, bad boys. You're ready for a day like this. In fact, we have production crew in here. I think all four of us could fit underneath this. That's just too. family sized. And it's perfect for the Red Hawks. The, the colors will match. You can look like you're a big fan and you'll be uh, ready to go tomorrow. I love this. I'm going to need this. Nice, isn't it? I should have had this this morning. I should have asked for it yesterday. So when I came in this morning, I was like, had my sweater over my head, uh, dodging puddles. But Does JB golf at all? A little bit. Not a big You got to get him one of those. He'd love one of those for his, uh, for his golf. How nice is that, though? That is huge. And we are just getting into baseball season, golf season, yeah. all that good stuff. So I wanted to show that off right away. Okay. Uh, it's almost a national holiday today, especially here at Valley News Live. She said, don't you go telling everybody. Oh, she did. <laughs> I don't listen. <laughs> it is Angie Savageau's birthday. Happy birthday, Angie. Mm. Look at our pretty lady. Okay, so Angie, I always say that she's the one who runs this shop because if you are a frequent guest on North Dakota Today or do any business with uh, Valley News Live, she's always at the front yes. desk. I mean, yes, sorry, Ike. We do have a GM. He is the boss, but Angie's really the boss. Actually, I think Ike she would say too that uh, she's definitely his right hand woman. So happy birthday, Angie. I can't believe she's 29. I know. We're going to celebrate all day long. Uh, there were, I was looking at her because we're Facebook friends and Instagram. I'm like, oh, she's got so many pretty pictures. I was, you know, thinking, what picture do I pick? So When was that pick from? Was that from? I'm not sure. You know what? Tony, our director, ended up picking that. Oh. I was like, I have a great one with a, with a cake. So Well done, T. So if you see Angie today, say happy birthday. And thank you to, uh, say thank you to Angie for everything that she does. She, Amen. Uh, she keeps us looking good and takes care of us. I love the picture of Angie Savageo celebrating another birthday. I'm not sure if I like this next picture more or just as much, but yes, this is great news. Carson Wentz, he is back on the field now, taking reps, throwing the rock. You can see here getting his stretches in. Uh, very, very good sign. He's had Something's a missing. Seasons. There's no brace on his knee. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. It looks like he's having Isn't no problems great? at all. They say that his back is all healed. Of course, everyone's probably keeping a very close eye on him, but I can't wait. I'm so excited for I him. Too. So, do they, how much do they practice now during the 
Yeah. Not a ton. I mean, they have what's called OTAs, and so they go in, you know, and do some stuff in the off season every now and then, and then they obviously end of July is when the big two days pick up. So it's pretty light stuff now, getting in shape, getting down the timing, but just to see him out there, like you said, no brace, no nothing, just raw Carson Wentz is good news. I'm so excited. I am too. This is going to be the year of Carson Wentz. Hopefully. We need to do a North Dakota today from Philly, don't you think? I'd love it. Yeah. We need to have something behind us, though, so in case people are throwing <laughs> stuff in the back of our heads. I would think they would be on our team. You know, they'd be happy with us. I mean, don't be talking about right. the Vikings. Right, they'd be okay. We just wear like West that. jerseys. We'd, we'd be good. Then, yeah, I have a couple. I can let you wear No, you <laughs> have one, you. too. So, oh, that would be fun. We'll work on that. NDT Done. in Philly. Good stuff. Okay, well, it was a big story when we had cleanup week here, right? We talked about all the junk that was thrown on. That great you know, artist that we saw. Yeah, she was amazing. Uh, Sally, you know, making the most out of all that junk. Well, this is a junk story that actually has some people kind of upset. People who did not just get rid of their junk during cleanup week like they should have, apparently are now throwing their junk no. in ditches. And our area farmers are having to deal with not only, you know, do they have wet farm fields and a a muddy oh. mess out there. They have this headache. Uh, people are dumping junk out in the country. One man said he discovered a deep freeze. Another uh, farmer said he found an ice house and dishwashers. It says dishwashers plural. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so sad. It happens all the time. We're cleaning stuff out of the road ditches all the time, whether it's fridges, TVs, couches, dehumidifiers. It, it happens all the time. You know it's true because he's very specific, like dehumidifiers. Yeah. You know. TVs. TVs. I I bet it. They're you know those old and they're probably the old box set. You know, people aren't throwing their flat screens out there. Those probably those big old fatty but who's, tube TVs. Who's looking at like an old TV or a humidifier and going, yeah, you know, I think we just go and throw that on the side of the road. Right? I know. I know. I like the thought of someone just throwing like their McDonald's bag out the window like infuriates me. Like let alone, but yeah. be like. <laughs> What is wrong with people? And Please then, don't do that. you know what? I never really thought about it, but you know, yeah, it's the farmers. They gotta go for the most it. part because they're probably not doing it on the interstate where, like, you know, right. crews would help pick up that kind of stuff. But oh, and what a mess if you're dumping it out like that, glass and everything. Yeah. So apparently, uh, Cass County authorities say, well, this is not surprising. Uh, it's difficult to catch those doing this, but if they are found, they could uh, get a ticket, a fine of at least two hundred dollars. But I think it should be like 2000 don't you? I agree. They say they should help compensate the farmers, you know, yeah. with the cleanup costs as well. So, you know what they should do? This is for real, because I, my dad was a farmer. If you're caught, you should have to go pick rock out of the farm field. <laughs> <laughs> I remember that. That's a real thing. Probably they don't have rocks out here in the, 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 in the beautiful valley. soil of the Red River Valley. But out west, where the farm land is not as good, we had to pick rock. But they should make them do something, right? Like some, some day labor to be like, okay, here, exactly. you can help... Uh, pick up or clean up or something like that so uh, here's a great <laughs> farmer story when i think about picking rock jordan schrer i uh, grew up on a, a farm outside of Perham, right you know that he was just telling me how when they were kids they had to go pick weeds and it, but they had to make sure they get got the root and his dad would check and they would get paid like they <laughs> get the paid root? per per well yeah per weed they get paid <laughs> but he would count and make sure was it mustard i don't know what they were but Oh, that's you know, a great I don't story. know if farm kids these days have to do what we did back in the day, you know. No, I mean, there's this, I don't know if you've seen this great story about the Grand View Farm. Have you heard of this? Yeah. Where they're talking about creating a fully, and I think it's just south of Fargo, but a fully autonomous farm. It's going to be all run by drones and, yeah, that's it. They're just going to be able to sit, like, in Arizona if you want it and be like, okay. So no one's going to be walking out there picking rock. Their no kids don't rock. will not get paid. How will they earn their allowance if they're not picking weeds? It's going to be like a video game. They're going to just. But I know that's what it's you know coming to, but still. It's incredible, isn't it? It's crazy, crazy. This is a great story um, of heroism uh, from our nation's capital. It involves a man from Roseau, Minnesota, Alexander Gooding. He joined the army at a young age, uh, went to Germany near the end of the Holocaust, and during his time over there. Of course, he saw the unimaginable, and then after returning to the States, uh, his mark on the world grew even bigger. He helped with the construction on the World Trade Center. Mr. Gooding eventually made his way to Minnesota, and that's how he got the opportunity to visit D.C. on the honor flight. This is awesome. At 91 years old. 91 years young. 
maybe. Thank you. And, Better way to say it. And, and we even got to visit with him. We, we won't forget it. We'll tolerate it, but we'll forget it. We won't forget it. I forgot to ask you, when you went on the trip, which I doubt they did, but did they take you to the Holocaust Museum? No, there wasn't time. Oh, that is like just one of the most heartbreaking. That's what I've heard. I heard it's a, it's a must stop, you know, place, but they were, you know, we were on a real tight schedule. So. Yeah, but just to, to imagine, like, if you'd go in his head and see what he saw back in the day, I'm assuming, you know, driving up there and there's some great stories about where, um, when the, those people, I, and I use the word great, obviously, from the standpoint of how they speak about Americans, but people that were going to the, a bad place back then, and they would see um, army people, and they would be kind of nervous, but then they thought it was the United States guys, then they would all be cheering, oh, it's United States, United States, so they got saved, and uh, it'd be fun to sit down and visit with him for a little while. Oh, yeah, oh, I could, for a long time, I bet he has just a, a wealth of, of information, stories, that he could share. So I'm glad that he got to go. It's always great to see that, that we still are bringing World War II veterans yeah. on the honor flight, too. So that's really incredible. Also, uh, Gooding, we said he, you know, then moved to Minnesota, moved to Rozo. He worked as an iron worker for several years. 91 right now. He's going to be turning 92 in just a couple of months. So, you know, we'll have to get him a cake. So I bet that's going right. to be a big party for that guy, too. So good stuff. Okay. I just wanted to share this video because it was the craziest video of uh, a car chase on the news this morning. It did not happen here. It happened in Southern California, which probably, you know, would make sense. The driver of a stolen motorhome led police no. on a high-speed chase in Southern California last night. It ended in a pretty bad crash. We're not hearing of any, like, injuries right now, although I, I would imagine there had to have been some. But look at this. Oh, my gosh. That, that is, is incredible, insane. and they just keep going. So the driver ignored lights, barreled through intersections, as you can see right there in the video. The vehicle sustained major damage to the passenger's side <laughs> after crashing into a pole, and then there you see that's, that's where the crash or the chase came to an end uh, when it eventually hit a car. And then it kind of gets even more strange because once the, you know, motorhome couldn't move anymore or go anymore a woman like a dog came running out a woman came running out there was another like couple dogs in this no just crazy and uh yeah well she was caught you can see police caught up with her but you know you see a lot of chases in socal yeah yeah it, but not of a large motorhome no not one that's half you know windows are out and that thing hits hit a couple cars yes that was nasty Okay, we want to get you your animal fix before we uh, move in to the rest of the show. We don't have a lot of information on today's animals, but how cute is Twinkle? This is Twinkle. Twinkle, Twinkle, little star. And she is a star. She has a huge personality. She loves to chat with anyone. She'd prefer to be an only kitty because, of course, she's the star of the show. And really, she would just outshine any other pets in the home. And I found another guy when I was looking up. The nice. uh, animals up for adoption. Meet Trooper. Trooper looks like a friendly guy. A young male lab <laughs> looking for a home. So he if uh, you have a little room in your heart, check out the animals at um, Homeward Animal Shelter. Trooper and Piper would be a nice pair. <laughs> I think Piper needs a partner. <laughs> I do. Stay with us. Coming up on today's show, could the road to the pros lead through Fargo for some NBA prospects? One local coach says yes.